Nice. All right. It's Josh here from RC Ranch. Uh, today I'm going to be painting a body for my Arma Outcast. This is a 1946 Dodge Power Wagon. It's a Pro-Line body and it's a two-piece body. I haven't cut it all the way out yet, but I'll do that uh, on camera uh, and see how that goes. I don't think it's going to be very interesting. I'm just going to be snipping away with the scissors. Uh, for scissors, I use the Duratrax uh, straight scissors and then I also use the Duratrax curved scissors. I'm going to use this liquid mask and I'm going to coat the entire inside of the body with it and then after it dries I'll be able to cut out the sections that I want a, a different color and then I can spray paint that and then you peel off the rest of the liquid mask and paint the other color that you want. I cut a small piece off and now I'll be able to use this small piece here and I can just paint in the small areas. So if I get too much paint in a small area, I can use this miniature brush that I've now made to get it in there or out of there. And it's much harder to do with a big brush. So if you have a foam brush, they're like 89 cents at Walmart and you can just cut a little chunk off and get into these little cracks. You should always brush like this with the brush uh, in one direction the first time and then let it dry and then the second time when you go back you brush in the other direction and then that way the paint can fill in all the marks that are left from the brush. So the first time you're painting and you're uh, painting like this and it leaves some spaces here but then the next time you go back your brush comes and it kind of catches on all those, those bumps of paint which you can see here, there are just these lines. And so now in the hood, when I go back with the brush this way, it'll catch the, uh, the, the lines and those bumps in the paint and it fills it in completely. So it's important to do a thin coat the first time. And even though you can still see through the body, the second time I go over it, it'll catch in all those spots and it'll fill it in. The thing to tape this is the uh, blue masking tape here. Uh, it's uh, edge lock by Scotch and it's a it's a really good tape because it really does lock in the edges. Okay so I finished up taping this and I think it looks pretty good so I'm gonna bring this down into the basement and I'm gonna give it a spray of orange quick. Uh, I'm gonna do a really light spray of orange uh, I recommend painting in a really well ventilated area if you can paint outdoors. Paint this now. Remember you want to do light coats when you're painting, uh, especially the first time. Uh, if you do too heavy of a coat the first time, you're going to get it to run and the paint's not going to stick as well. So we're back down here to do the uh, second coat here. Uh, the first one is dry now, and it's really transparent still. Now I'm going to be backing this with the white. Uh, the white is uh, so that the orange pops, and it makes it a lot more uh, of a bright fluorescent orange. All right, so. Here's the rear end. Uh, it's looking pretty good. As soon as I take all that masking off and stuff, it's going to look really nice. All right, I'm going to start on this body. This one's still a little bit wet. Uh, the white is still drying because I put a second coat of white on. So I'm going to do the same thing on this one. I'm going to put two coats of orange on it and two coats of white. And then I'll do the final touches on both of them with the black after I peel off the masking tape on, on both of them. Well, here's what the uh, the bed looks like after I've removed the masking tape. 
Uh, I'm gonna go and paint this black now. So this is the final product here. Uh, I finished this like, I don't know, maybe a week ago and now I just finally put the stickers on. Uh, I was waiting on the stickers, I got those two days ago and last night I put them on and now I, I have this thing finally ready for the video. So as you can see, I think it turned out pretty well. There are a few spots where the paint ran because I put some shoe glue on too early. Uh, but basically a run through of this body is <coughs> I, I finished painting it and then I put shoe glue on the inside. And I sprayed some bed liner on there and then this is off of a stock arm outcast and I just added this for a little bit of extra support. It's like a, a roof rack or headache bar. I don't know what you want to call it. But this thing turned out really well. I like how the bottom of the Arma Outcast kind of looks like it's just the bottom of this truck. And then the front wheel wells, they turned out excellent. As you can see, it looks almost like this body kind of came factory to go with the Arma Outcast. The mud guards inside just line up perfectly with these front fenders. Overall, I think that it turned out pretty good. I'm really happy with the color orange that I got. It's like a really bright fluorescent orange and that's something that I can see really well. And I like just the way that it looks. It's going to look awesome ripping around the yard. Uh, tomorrow I'm planning on doing a running video. Right now it's almost dark out. Um, I could do a quick little test run now. I might have time. I don't think I will. Uh, but that will be in the next video as a uh, running video. And then I'm going to also do uh, some tips on, on how to do jumps and how to control your truck in the air. Uh, right now I'm going to show you guys uh, what I did on the inside of the body to kind of help reinforce it from impacts because in the rear you can see that this is probably going to end up getting hit quite a few times doing wheelies so I've reinforced the front and the rear of this truck. Alright so in the rear of the truck I put an extra Proline body mount holder. This is just uh, to hold the body mounts and it's a piece of plastic basically that I didn't need so I screwed part of it into the bed of the truck and then the remainder into the tailgate of the truck. So here's the two screws into the bed and here's the ones in the tailgate. For the tailgate, I just used silver screws. For the bed, I put these black caps on there so it makes it look a little bit more nice. I also did the same thing in the front. Here are the screws. And then on the inside, uh, this is the, another one of the Proline body mounts that I just added and it really stiffens it up from impacts from the front. I also sprayed the entire inside with Flex Seal uh, after I shoe gooed it. Uh, the shoe goo is really important, that really holds the body together and the flex seal, I don't know how that's going to work, it should work pretty good. Um, Alright, well I'm going to do some close ups, show off the body a little bit. enjoyed the video. Uh, I think this thing uh, turned out really well. I'm happy uh, with the results. I'm going to run it in the next one. Uh, it's too dark to run it right now. Uh, I'm sorry for anybody that wants to see this thing get run right now. Uh, I can't. It's too dark to film. Uh, but yeah, I'll do it in the next one. I'm planning on filming here in the next few days. So hopefully you guys will see more of this thing. I gotta go. Outcast is upset. Nice! Wow! Front flip. Oh, it did it! Wow, that is cool. Ah, my battery cam disconnected. Nice landing. <laughs>